Hey, what's up? What's hot? What's happening? My name is Miss Cosmo, and you know what it is. You're right here on 5FM, the best hip hop show in the land, the Stir Up, and you know I only have the best interviews on this here show. Tonight, I'm gonna be dispelling all of the rumors. Ifani Imani is coming into studio. Ifani, Mr. Imani, born in Tata, raised in PE. And we're gonna be talking first day called. Can't believe this shit. This is my dream on a cell phone. They go. I've been hijacked. I've been kidnapped. <laughs> 20,000 in what? 19 minutes? I had to pay my rent from a credit card. This is me, man, you know? Shot to a fire this past week. I was genuinely pissed off. Yeah, I can't believe this shit. Double up. Yes, I'm trying to double up. So I did mention to you that we're going gold status tonight. That's what we're going to be talking about the whole first hour of the show. I've got the man himself in studio. I find it. I'm money. I'm money. Uh huh, uh huh. What's up? Yep, 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 yep. Get it and get it and the grand in the grand Miss Cosmo. Uh -huh. I'm plans, yeah. Obviously, you won yourself a summer, so you're quite excited about that. That was the summer for the first album, I believe, in me, the first yes. quadrant. Yes. How did it feel for you to actually take the summer award last year? It was great. Great man, you know, to win a summer for, for best rap album. Mm -hmm. The only thing that sucked was that they didn't televise it. Oh yeah. You know, I wasn't yes. on TV yes. and I would have really loved for me to be on TV yes. and I'm the way and fun and okay oh uh, you uh. know, but it, at least um the people in the Eastern Cape can say that we have a summer now. Yes. You know, at least must be in. Must come in his hand. Must come in his hand. You're doing it for the people. Yeah, doing it yeah, for the yeah. people. I see the second quadrant is out. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, I've got to jump into how you actually came up, first of all, with the concept before we get into um, actually how you actually managed to get gold. So, for you to decide on the first day you want to go gold, yeah. what? made you actually decide to go into that direction why did you want to do this sure the cousin in Yang right mm. now um on the 26th of december they broke into my place and they stole everything yonke into every even old memory sticks wow hard drives backups Ooh. the main computer everything I would cry. Gone. I don't know what I would do actually. Yes, you see what I'm saying? So, um, luckily for me, that has happened before. Not luckily, maybe unfortunately yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. It's happened before. Aban Bayaz, I've been hijacked. I've been kidnapped. Uh, they've broken into my place a couple of times before. I've been in car accidents. You know, so life has dished a couple of low blows home. Yes. And I've always taken them. Kule and Zalini, you know, I grew up in poverty. Mm. This, this is me, man, you know. So the next day, I was like, you know, the only thing that could really make me happy as a person right now mm. is if I do something like ridiculously amazing. Yes. And that's when to the basically idea. lift your spirits. Yeah, you know. Ah. And, and you're, every time, every time, time something like that happens to me, I move on to the next. I mean, look at it. When I got hijacked and kidnapped, I came up with Shake. Yes. And Shake was like number one. Ah, and then you, you shook know? it off. And then I shook it off. Nah. You know, young any money. So I have a certain melee. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's, it's very special for you to make a song like Ngome Zimnandi because it was dedicated to Mam Tembu having had uh, Mother's Day just uh, uh, last week, actually. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, yeah, and I actually saw you tweeting about that as well. Um, so she was someone very personal to you. So that was a very, very, very personal, very, very close. Mm -hmm. And Punulungi Sanji, just that bit. And I know a lot of people think this is a dedication to Montevideo. Oh, okay. But when you listen closely to Lengoma, it's not actually a dedication. You know? Yes. It's a letter to Jesus. Oh, yeah, okay. Because with that song, when I was writing that song, I had to A, which went big. Yes. I had to shake, which went really Really big. Mm -hmm. I had to melee, which was humongous. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I've been making all these hits, man. Yes. And the one person that really mattered the most cool mm. was not here to hear them. Oh, so, right. So Jesus, because I know Mom Tim used to pray like every night. She used mm. to give to the community. She was a good person, and I knew for sure that she was in heaven. Yeah. So I was like, yes, Mom Tim love. Yes. You know. Can you please play her beautiful music? Because that's all she ever made. Yes. 
hip hop means a lot to me. Hip hop is my life, as you can see. I left uh, the engineering job, comfy job, that could afford me a nice golf GTI. Begumnandi, petuwezi grandi, yellow bones, ne what what. But uh, I had to follow my heart, and clearly hip hop was where my heart was, and here I am right now making a living from hip hop. Okay, so first day gold went gold the first day. Yep. Shots were fired this past week. Yep. Let's actually start at the beginning. Sure. How did you get to gold? Okay, there's one thing you cannot skip here. There's one thing you cannot erase here, and that is hard work. Yes. Hard work, hard work, hard work, all over again. Okay. Right? That's how I got to go. Yes. Okay. So, you, are you going to elaborate on how that hard work? The moves, yeah. Okay. You want? Okay. I want to understand the plan. I'm trying to understand the plan. How okay. it happened. Masik okay. Kalege, right where we left it off. Okay. Remember when everything was stolen and yes. I stuck again, yes. and then it was just a dream. Just yes. Something that would make me feel nice if it happened, okay. you know. So now I'm gonna just like no Paul from Sony, yes. and I let him know. Listen, Paul, I have this dream, man. I want to go gold on the first day. He was like, Really? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, That's exactly what I want to do. Yeah. He was like, I finally, if that's what you want, you have all our support. Okay. So I went to the office and they round up the whole team. This okay. has had never happened to me at Sony before. Okay. They round out the entire team. Uh -huh. They sat down and they said, Listen, guys, I finally want to go gold on the first day. Mm. I want everyone to bash their hair are against the wall and come up with all brilliant ideas i finally will come back here tomorrow mm. and i want to hear all these ideas yeah. and then we went to twitter yes. twitter came through with the plan and said listen i finally i'm going to give you five million you, um, users yes. on twitter yes. can you imagine this Mama? can you imagine they're going to give you they, when five we were tweeting when viewers. we were tweeting they were retweeting to over five million users oh, around the world okay uh, top billion came through yeah like yo i find over here about this thing you're trying to do yes. we want to support you let's yes. go to mauritius so we went to mauritius yes. and they shot the whole episode around you know me you going first gold. day yes. gold yeah they yeah. ate that Yes. And then when I was done, uh, we planned um, a national tour, radio tour. Yes. And I don't mean like you're normal, let's go to KZN and do a radio tour. No. No, no, no. I mean like I went to every single station. Really? Campus One radio, person. main Campus radio. radio. Uh, main every station wow. with the ones that actually sold on the first day yes. were those purely physical copies or were those physical were and physical. items they were all physical all physical all physical so they were all printed prior to all the release printed. date let me put it this way to you mm. I went to Mtanzan. Tanzan yes. is the second largest uh, uh, city in, in Yes, yes, yes. Right? In, in the Eastern Cape, yeah. No, no, in South Africa. Oh, right. In okay. the entire country. Yes. Mtanzan does not have a single musical. Okay. I have hundreds of thousands of fans in that okay. class. Okay. Soweto, the biggest township in South Africa, yes. has one musical. I have hundreds of thousands of fans there. Okay. Kailicha, yes. which is the third biggest township in South Africa. Yes has no music. Wow. Do you now understand what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah. So when I go to Mtanzan, mm. I can sell this CD. Yes. You get what I'm saying? I, I can sell because people love me Mtanzan. I can go there and start selling my album because mm. that's what I'm about. I'm about pushing product. Mm. I'm not about climbing no music charts or you know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm not, not about any charts. Okay. So I did this. I had to go on the ground and do the work. Oh wow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, the homie aka was obviously just... Well, at first, okay, let's start at the beginning. <clears throat> he was trying to commend you. Initially, he thought that um, a, a brand sponsor had actually purchased your albums. Miss Cosmo, okay. let's just be serious, God. Yeah. You know, if I come here and I say, ah, you have a nice hairstyle. Mm. But your hairstyle, ah, is nice, but you, but yes, it's so it to you. <laughs> but it's <laughs> nice, I'm trying to commend <laughs> you, but you, you know, it's so it to the hairstyle, yeah. Mm. What do you but say, you Mr. Shem, so you, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you get the point now. Do you get it? That, listen, so when you so, comment so you, someone, so, it never changes. So you didn't take it as a compliment? But a compliment never changes. There's no compliment that ever changes. If someone is beautiful, they are beautiful, there's no but. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The minute there's a but, that's when you know it's not a compliment. Okay. Yeah. With a situation like that, how do you take it back now? Because now it's become a thing of people questioning, number one, um, how did you get the gold plaque on the first day? Or did you get the gold plaque picture a week after? No, 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 no. That no. picture was taken the first day? On that day, yeah. Okay. Yes. So you already knew on that day it that was you were going to get it? It was taken the following day. The following day. I knew I was going to get it in January when I said I was going to get it. I don't understand. 
I knew, you see, when I say I'm gonna go gold on the 29th of April, yes, it was January. Yes, I wrote that on my status on Twitter. Yes, in my mind, I had already had it. Okay, do you get what I'm saying? I understand. I was prepared for it and I was not <clears throat> going to change my mind at all. So, there you have it. You heard it here first on the stir. I finally told us how he went gold. Whether you believe him, whether you don't, whether you think someone bought those albums or whether you think he bought them himself, that's all up to you and your decision to actually take what he said. But he came here to dispel the rumors to basically show you how he decided to make his dream come true and how he went first day gold. So big up to the man for being innovative, big up to the man for thinking outside of the box and not following the normal channels like everybody else does, and a big up to him for actually making his dream happen because that's what he wanted at the end of the day. He's got his gold plaque and he's got his music out there, so um, go out there and get the album. It might just help you settle down. <laughs> She's asking a question And I'll be alive